Now, how did you first get involved in Men in Sheds? I went looking in beginning in nineteen sorry two thousand and uh, fourteen for to join a men's shed. Find the nearest one was Newport Men's Shed. Having got there, it was not really functional because it didn't have a real home and only four members. Right. Uh, we strived to find a home in Newport, failed, and but we did begin renting at the Greenwood Centre, the wood workshop, in 2017, every Wednesday. Uh, subsequent to that, we had the good fortune to interact with Reagan Housing Trust, and because uh, Hall Barn was not being fully utilised, they offered to us a long-term basis, full use of Hall Barn. And additionally, because the allotments at Hall Barn had gone in disrepair, they offered those to us as well. So since 2000, middle of 2017, we have been ensconced at Hall Barn, refurbed entirely and set up a workshop and a social area inside Hall Barn, and we're in a major refurbishment of the allotments area, turning it into a garden for our members. And that's ongoing. We've had a number of grants from the local community across the last year and a half in respect, primarily of the garden. Uh, initially, we had a grant from Reagan Housing Trust for raised beds, three sorts, a uh, wheelchair bed, uh, a sitting bed and a standing bed. Uh, and also for... Uh, we then had a grant from Viola, Enviro yep. Grant, last year. And that was very useful to us because that allowed us to put down about 35 square metres of uh, semi-porous standing for wheelchair access. Right. And additionally, uh, a watering system, which was severely tested last year, obviously, <laughs> yes, in, <indeed. laughs> in the, in the drought uh, situation. And uh, we executed both those grants. We also had a grant from Greg's the Bakers last year, and that was to install a log cabin, uh, a want to a wildlife pond, make six or eight bird boxes, three hedgehog boxes, which we're going to populate with hedgehogs from Kewan. Uh, that's ongoing. We've completed the log cabin. Since then, on, on our own efforts and funding, we've extended that dramatically in terms of the log cabin. It's been... Uh, we have wired for electrics. Uh, we have it plasterboarded. We've built a veranda. We've built an awning and built a railing. Fantastic. And a process, we're in the business of creating a, a, an extra greenhouse. We have two already, but this is a larger one. Now, what we are deficient, have been deficient on, and what is the subject of this particular grant we have had from Telford and Rakin Council under the community, uh, our Pride and Community Fund, is that we could not uh, connect uh, our log cabin to the mains. It's not economic and right. not feasible. So we then began, and it's also not as eco-friendly as a potential solution. So we then put together a proposal, uh, initially to Viola and Vara Grant, but in conjunction with Telford and Regan, it was Telford and Regan Council who granted that in the last few weeks. So, so you're going to get solar panels? We are currently completing the design on the solar panels and obviously the internal electrics, and we'll do the bulk of the work ourselves in terms of the installations, commissioning and everything. We have sufficient technical expertise to, to do that sort of activity. So, so with the garden, the shed and now Panna, you've created quite a little community for yes. shed base. Yes, so we are in increasing numbers of uh, people joining us. We're now up to a region of 30 members. Brilliant. And because that is putting a strain on our uh, capacity to deal with any number of people at a particular time, we're now opening an extra day in at... Hall Barn. So we operate Tuesdays and Thursdays at Hall Barn and additionally we still continue to rent the Greenwood Woodworking Centre on a Wednesday. Additionally we're doing some pretty interesting projects. We have a very interesting project where because one of our members is an ex-major and as one of his right. colleagues is also an ex-major but happens to be uh, in charge of the Getz Cadets in Shropshire. He wants to turn uh, a large trailer into a dummy armoured personnel carrier. Four, right. th four three two. Uh, we're currently doing that, building the superstructure for that, for the large trailer, with the view of passing the the elements of that superstructure to the cadets for them to finish with painting and everything else, and then go as a demonstration vehicle with cadets inside. Fantastic. So, so and that's in August. <laughs> and that's utilising the yes. men in sheds groups with the younger members of the community. Yep. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have a number of young members joining us as well. Uh, a young lad who's partly supported by Telford and Regan, 
social services, but he has some skills that we can potentially utilise, and he interacts reasonably well with us, which is good. Brilliant. What we're also seeing is more and more people on the, on the fringes with difficulties and lacking social skills are coming along and joining us because you don't, we don't have, members don't have to do anything. They can sit and talk and do nothing. They can involve in individual projects, so they can join the collective projects or just sit in the garden and enjoy.